Resume writing is not so much about following strict rules. It's more to do with a consistent, clean, and professional look. Remember that you are selling yourself and you're trying to make yourself stand out from the rest of the crowd. You can use this resume with work experience or without. You can tweak it to meet your needs. And I'll touch on that as we go through this video. Starting at the top of the page, you might have noticed that the font size for your name is a little bit bigger than the rest of the text. And that's on purpose. It's important for your name to stand out. And that's why it's also in all caps and in bold text. Another way to make your resume stand out is to include a photo of yourself. Now below your name, write something that describes you, a word or a phrase. For example, you might use something like team player, hard worker, something along those lines will do. Your contact details are next. And then I like to use a line to separate each section of your resume. I think the line helps to organize your resume and gives it a professional look. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. So in this example, you can see all those details that I just talked about. And in the right corner, you can see a photo that I've included of myself. A couple things about the photo. It shouldn't take up a lot of room and it should be a headshot. It doesn't have to be a professional photo, but make sure your face is clearly visible. After your name and contact details, is your education up to now. Always start with your most recent time and place of study and then work backwards from there. By the way, I use a text box to help with formatting and layout. And in this case, you can see the black outline. And in the sections below, I change the table properties so that the line is white and therefore can't be seen. Next up is work experience and the same rules apply as the education section. Start with your last or most current position and then work backwards from there. As far as the description of your role, keep it brief and to the point. Couple points, up to three, maybe four, that'll do. Point form is fine, but just make sure your writing is clear. We'll look at a couple of examples in just a moment. If you don't have any work experience, you could substitute that for volunteer experience. If you don't have any volunteer experience, well then I got a couple of suggestions, which I'll get to in just a second. In this resume, I've outlined my education and work experience. You can see that for each job that I had, I added a few points to explain the role. As I mentioned, you don't have to write extensive details. Just be clear, be brief, and to the point. For this resume, because I don't have any work experience, what I did is I moved the extracurricular activity section up and then I added a section called personal attributes. These are characteristics like being dependable and willing to learn. If you're not sure, Google personal attributes and you'll find plenty of examples that you could use in your resume. Remember, you're trying to sell yourself here. So if you don't have work experience or volunteer experience, you gotta fill the space with something. So give it some thought. Personal attributes might make sense for you, but if not, try something else. I think the interest section is really important because you can share something a little bit more beyond school or organized activities. The key with this section is to show some variety. If you're a gamer, sure, put that down, but you should also have some other things to include as well to show that you're a well-rounded person. The final section is for references and you should have at least two, maybe three at the most, but for sure two references. Make sure that the contact information for your references is up to date and also be sure to contact your references in advance so that you give them a heads up and let them know that you're applying for a job. So let's go back to our two resume examples. The first one is with work experience. The second one is with no work experience. You'll notice that both resumes are consistent, clear, and professional looking. The space on the page is used effectively. And for the resume with no work experience, because there was a little bit of room at the bottom of the page, I included a quote from one of my favorite authors. Feel free to make copies of these templates and resumes for your use. The links are in the description. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell. And good luck with your job hunt.